We have an opportunity each year to do two things as a church family. We have a chance to look back with gratitude as we ponder all that God has been doing amongst us. And we also have an opportunity to look forward with anticipation as we ponder what God may do in the weeks and months ahead. It's right for us to do this. It's wonderful to trust a God, to know a God who is not distant, but a God who is active, active in our life, active in our community. So it's good for us to look back with gratitude and to look forward with anticipation. So let's start by looking back with gratitude. We have three passions as a church family. What is it that we love? Well, these three things, we love God's word, we love God's people, and we love God's world. So first of all, we are a church that love God's word. We believe that God is the greatest communicator in the world. Why is it that we open up our Bibles as often as we can across the ages and stages in our church? Why do we love to have the Bible read? Why do we love to preach the Bible? Uh, why do we have small groups where the Bible is opened up and prayed through? Why do we teach the Bible to our children and to our young people? Why is it that we open up the Bible when we're speaking to those who are interested in the Christian faith? Why? Because it is God's book. God is the greatest communicator and he has written his words in a book. I praise him that we have access to what our, our creator wants us to hear and listen to in this world today. So we are a church that loves God's words, but also we are a church that loves God's people. And so we're not just individuals who are connecting with God as we read the Bible. We are a family, brothers and sisters on mission together. And we believe that the Bible is shaping us, forming us so that we are a community of love. And it's such a special season in the life of Trinity Church where uh, I get as a pastor to look out and to see uh, wonderful uh, acts of love and kindness and compassion, not just on a Sunday, but I hear of them throughout the week in all sorts of hidden ways. It's really special to, to come into a place, to belong to a family where you are cared for, where you are valued. Uh, we are a church that loves God's people, but also we are a church that loves God's world. And in what sense do we love the world? Well. We don't really love all the different worldly ways, but in the sense that God loves the world. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son so that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So God so loved the world that he sent his son to rescue the world so that uh, the world that was rejecting and rebelling would know the eternal life and the joy of knowing God. So we want to be a church that is not inward looking, that doesn't keep ourselves to ourselves, but looks to the thousands of people in our community who don't know Jesus. And we want to talk and share the great story of Jesus, our rescuer, our king, with those around us. Because we want other people, men and women and boys and girls, to join us in the family so that one day they will see Jesus face to face. So those three loves we have as a church. We love God's word, we love God's people, and we love God's world. Now those three loves have been working themselves out in the last 12 months. And what I'd love to show you is a little video that tries to capture uh, some of the different ways in which we see these three loves in action. So enjoy this video and I'm sure you'll be looking for yourself. Smile when you see yourself and also smile when you see all the different ways that God has been at work. Mm -hmm. 